Hello, family. Pastor Allah Lu from Christian Pentecostal Church here, and today we're in the Gospel of John, chapter 16, and we'll be starting from verse 30, starting from verse 25, we're going to go to the end. These things have I spoken unto you in Proverbs, but the time cometh when I shall no more speak unto you in Proverbs, but I will show you plainly of the Father. At that day ye shall ask in my name, and I say and I say not unto you that I will pray the Father for you. For the Father himself loveth you, because ye have loved me, and have believed that I came out from God. I came forth from the Father, and am come into the world again. I leave the world, and go to the Father. His disciples said unto him, Lo, now speakest thou plainly, and speakest no proverb. Now are we sure that thou knowest all things, and needest not that any man should ask thee. By this we believe that thou camest from God, forth from God. Jesus answered them, Do you believe now? Behold, the hour cometh, yea, is now come, that ye shall be scattered, every man to his own, and shall leave me alone. And yet I am not alone, because the Father is with me. These things I have spoken unto you, that ye in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation. But be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. So there's something I uh, say to my children, it um, goes something along the lines like, uh, this is how it is message, like R to the E to the L-A-X, and then they say, relax. And you know, that's when I read this portion of scripture, especially in verse 33, that's what always comes to mind, you know, it says, Jesus says, these things have I spoken to you, that in me you might have peace. In this world, you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. So relax. No matter how hard things might get, no matter how difficult. We see the disciples, they were asking questions. They wanted to know, like, how do we know? But what they didn't understand, what Jesus was speaking or foretelling his own death and resurrection there and his ascension. He was saying that, hey, I came from the Father, I'm going back to the Father. And before I used to tell you, tell you I'm going to ask of the Father, but at that moment, I won't have to tell you that anymore. And the Father loves you. He said, the Father loves you because you loved me. Then they say, yeah, cool. So now we know that you came from the Father. Because you won't have to ask of the Father anymore. But they didn't know. They didn't understand what he was saying. You know, in that moment, he didn't speak in the proverb, yet they still didn't understand what he was saying. Because he then says, hey, you say you believe now? You're with me now? Okay. Literally, all you're going to be scattered to your own house is you're going to leave me alone. He says, but I am not. Yet, I am not alone. And that is what I'm grabbing on to to relax. I am not alone. You, as a child of God, you are not alone. One, the Father is only present. He is everywhere. Two, Jesus is with you and you abide in him. Three, the spirit of the living God, the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells within me and within you. We are not alone. Jesus says, be of good cheer. He said, peace, peace, be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. So relax. Nothing can be greater than our God. Nothing can catch him by surprise. Nothing can knock him off his guard. He's omnipotent, omniscient. Relax. Even in Jesus foretelling his death, resurrection, and ascension, 
He knew what was coming. He knew the difficulty. He knew the shame. But yet, to have a relationship with you and I, to have fellowship with you and I, he said, it is worth it. For the joy that was set before him. We are part of that joy. So we have peace. So because we have peace and because we know that Christ has overcome, we can rejoice. We can be of good cheer because our God is on the throne. And he keeps his own now, forever, always. So relax and God bless you. Thank you.